saw that I got an intro for my vlogs and I actually hope that I can find some music for that and just make suggestions in the comment section below because I need a freaking soundtrack to that. So yeah, got some some news sort of. Uh, first of all, <laughs> I've got an editing program <laughs> finally in it and it works and yeah, it's Adobe uh, After Effects uh, using a test version pretty much works. So, uh, quite happy because today finally my, uh, resistors arrived. These are 100 and, these are 100 watts, 5 kilo ohm aluminum resistors. I uh, got them off eBay. I just tilted the camera. Whoops, sorry. So, um, yeah, the, I'm gonna need, I need one of these for my UB3300. Uh, GAVTTC. There's a system approaching outside. And um, the other two are either just random. <laughs> I'm just going to fill up my uh, space, or I'm going to use them for a special VTTC project, which I'm not going to reveal yet. I'm going to reveal, reveal it as soon as I got that thing working. So, um, now to the two. Okay, guys. These are my new two new vacuum tubes. It's an RS291 and a 304TL. Made by uh, the RS tube is made by Telefunken in 1983, 38, sorry, 38. And also has the Nazi uh, cross on it as a symbol because it was made by the German Wehrmacht. So, or for the German Wehrmacht. But uh, aside from that thing. <laughs> Those things are freaking impossible to break. So it was a bit shaky. Hit my arm uh, earlier today, so it's a bit shaky. And this is a used 304 tail. I was using a sulfur plant, I guess. And but it still works. And it's actually about the same size as the 811A. And over there, just made out of the vacuum tubes. And yes, Tristan, I actually broke this tube. Well, actually, I didn't break it. That was a post. I the post uh, uh, the male guy. Guys, not the male guy. Our male guy is cool. Uh, the guy's at the male, pretty much. Um, this tube here is actually quite cool because there's the anode, there's the grid, grid one, and the thing's a tetrode, oxide cathode, made about, th oh, about 110 watts. And it's got an oval anode. Look in there, it's an oval anode. So, um, okay guys, just to give you a comparison of size here, I pulled out a 75 watt dog bone resistor for my, uh, stuff, which is there, and I don't even know what the value on this is, uh, it's about 40 ohms, and 75 watts, and it's just a gigantic, this beast, it's a mandy resistor. There's actually a much there's actually a one thousand watt resistor in there, but other than that. This here is the uh Nakido one hundred watt resistor. Well the power is bigger than that thing, but still, it's quite small. I think we're gonna get me a one hundred watt uh five hundred watt resistor just for the size of it. So I'm gonna compare this to the fifty watt resistor inside my Tesla coil. comparison for you. And yeah, it's not mounted on any heat sink or anything. This has to be mounted on a heat sink because it's going to get freaking hot. But that thing isn't. And I don't care if it's mounted on anything or not. It works. Powers this little Tesla coil you hope. Yeah. This little Tesla coil and yeah. Also guys, uh, just because I get a couple of emails uh, asking me about Tesla coils and when I'm going to build another Tesla coil. And uh, for you guys, I'm going to build a solid state Tesla coil. So you guys <laughs> stop, um, stop annoying me. So, uh, yeah, because VTTCs are expensive. This year, VTTC cost me over 100 bucks. 
even though I had some of the parts already. But still, it cost me over 100 bucks. And SSTCs are much cheaper. They're like 20, 30 bucks. So I'm gonna build one of those. And you can count on style for me because I like building stuff that's nice. That works great too. So I'm gonna be having some of those videos up soon. And for the guys who are gonna ask, what are you gonna use for the for the oscillator chip and the uh, MOSFETs, and what are you gonna use half bridge, full bridge, offline? What the hell? I'm using a TL494 oscillator PVM controller chip, and as MOSFETs, I'm going to use IR IRFTs, uh, IRFT460, I think that they are, um, which are 20 amp, 500 volt, and and channel and MOSFETs. I'm going to use them in a half bridge configuration, and uh, it's going to be a small coil, so I'm going to use half bridge, and I'm going to build a bigger one just for the build of it. And that's going to take some time, though. We're going to use IRFP 460s in a full bridge configuration. So, uh, I tried something on that, but I hadn't really gotten started, and I didn't finish the animation yet. So, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys, and um, please give me suggestions for a soundtrack for the intro. So, uh, Thanks for watching guys and uh, test labs out.